How much does bubble plates affect your distillate? Let's find out. Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Beaver and today we are discussing how much a bubble plate will affect your distillate and how many bubble plates do you need if you want to distill different kinds of spirits. Now in my previous video where I unboxed and used this still for the first time and compared running this still to my old still, I'll link the video up here if you want to watch it. We ran this still with six plates in the column. We ended up running at 91% ABV throughout the run. Now in that video or on the comments of that video, we got a lot of guys asking, can you still do a run with that kind of still if you're doing something like a whiskey? Now the answer is yes. In the still currently, we have a whiskey running. All I did is I took out all the plates and only put in two plates in the column. So we're running this still now with only two plates in the column. All six side glasses are in place, but only two plates. Now, how did I get to the numbers to only run two plates? Let's go look at the numbers. As you're seeing on the screen right now, the still is currently running at just below 80% at about at 78%. Now, how did I get to those numbers? Now, when we ran the still for the first time, I had an 8% ABV wash in it and I managed to get 91%. Now, if you're familiar with the VLE chart or the vapor liquid efficiency chart, that explains how vapor will travel up and once it's condensed and redistill at that ABV, what is the next vapor ABV? So that means that every time the, the vapor travels up, it hits this bubble plate, it condenses and it redistills. Now, after running the still for the first time, I picked up that I didn't get the ABV that was initially thought I would get with six plates. Now, according to the VLE chart with six plates, I should be able to get around about 94%, but I only managed to get 91. Now, that doesn't sound like a big difference, but it was a big difference because for us to get to 94%, I need to add an additional two or maybe even three plates to this column to get to 94%. So let's quickly explain to you how the different sections with the previous run differed between each other and how I calculated the efficiency. So let's just briefly explain what I meant by the VLE chart. In the boiler right now is an 8% ABV wash. The vapor coming up off that uh, wash is at 47 percent the moment the vapor hits this bubble plate it redistills and the abv should climb to roughly 74 percent once the vapor hits this plate it should now recondense and the vapor should be at 83 percent and as it goes up again the vapor goes to 87 then to 89 then to 90 and then to 91 percent and then it went over that is why we distilled the whole run at roughly 90 to 91%. Now we're doing a whiskey. So using that exact same calculations and accounting for a 15% inefficiency or a 85% efficiency per plate. So each plate is not a full redistillation, but more like a 85% distillation. We calculated that we need two plates for us to be able to run a whiskey with this still and maintain an ABV of roughly 78%. As you can see, proof is in the pudding. We are managing to run this whiskey at 78% continuously throughout the hard scud. So as I said, when I did my calculations, the efficiency of each of these plates is roughly 85%. So this means that instead of using your VLE chart to see exactly what the next distillation would be i took those two numbers subtracted them from each other got the number of or the percentage of abv that the distillate should increase by and subtracted 15 percent and then used the vle chart again to go up 
Now I will link a video down in the description where you can obtain the VLE chart and then you can do your own calculations. So just to answer the question, if you have a still with multiple plates, can you still run a whiskey or a brandy without tripping out all the flavor? The answer is yes, absolutely you can. All you need to do is tailor the amount of plates that you're going to be using to the ABV that you want to run it at. Now I hope that gave a little bit of clarity on how to use bubble plates within your column. Now if you want more information on running a still like this with different amounts of bubble plates, please put down in the comment section. I will gladly do another video where we compare the different number of plates. So running with one plate, two plates, three plates, all the way up to six. If you want to see that kind of video down in the comment section below. But yeah. So it's relatively simple to run a still like this and yes you can run any type of product that you want to as long as you tailor the amount of plates that you have. And if you stuck around this far, thank you very much for watching and have a lack of day.